from the PAL Hall in Fall River, the 1991 finals of the Southern New England Golden Gloves Boxing Tourney. Brought to you by Budweiser. Welcome back to the PAL Hall in Fall River. Fight number eight, the 165 pound novice championship. Make that the 156 pound novice championship in the red, John Kimborough of Grundy's Gym in Central Falls. He's the guy taking the beating right now against the ropes. Throwing all the punches, Jared Tillingast of Manfred's Gym in Providence, Rhode Island. This so, is a very energetic start. <laughs> nice exchange. Punches. I don't think this fight's gonna last very long. Kimbaro just laying in the tilling gas. Now they've switched positions. Kimbaro pushes his opponent to the corner. Listen, you're holding. Hold now it's Matt Natale, the referee, stepping in. He's gonna have his hands full with this boat. Kimbaro in red, oh, taking nice a shot hook. to the face. Nice hook. The right hand. Kimbaro shaking it off. Tilling gas. Drop this mouthpiece. See, I don't like this rule. They stop the fight to take care of the mouthpiece. And you, a while back, they never did that. They just let you go. So can you drop it and get a breather? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Kimbaro. Like, like Bill Russell, right? When he did that with the Celtics. <laughs> they drop his mouthpiece, but he faked when he was hurt. Tilling gassed, putting Kimbaro to the corner. John Kimbaro, 156 pounds. Jared Tillingas weighing in at 157. Kimbaro in red, Tillingas in the blue. Kimbaro coming out like gangbusters, but takes a shot to the face there. Tillingas trying to land with the left. Stop. Your corner. <laughs> you can do this all night. See, that's what I don't like about that rule. This time it's Tillingas as we get a close up of Kimbaro. So what they, you do it three times, you get a point. Yeah, three, three times you drop your mouthpiece, you lose a point. Tilling gas with a left and right combination. As he nice has Kimbaro against the ropes. Uh oh. Tilling gas with a solid left. That's right, kill. Kimbaro's a tough guy. He took a lot of shots on the jaw. Looks like Natalie got a shot there, the referee. <laughs> Comes with the territory. Tillingast with another left. As again, Kimbaro against the ropes. And a very exciting first round between Kimbaro and Tillingast. It's a tough round to score. It's a lot, a lot of action. Uh, Kimbaro seemed to get the worst towards the end. Jared Tillingast on the left and John Kimbaro on the right of your split screen. So he's throwing gas a little fire plug. He gets started and uh, had those left hooks going. You see, a more experienced fighter would not have been as wild and thrown as many punches. I think when he, he had Kimbo hurt in the corner, he would have set, settled down, stopped, and really tried to plant himself, get the power from his turning uh, from, the, from his feet, uh, bring, up the, bring up the hooks. He was just trying to end it all right there. Sometimes you could... You know, lose all your gas by doing that. Let all your punches fly at the wrong time. Tilling gas really seemed to have the momentum at one point as he was just wailing away at Kimbauer, but Kimbauer had some shots earlier on. Tilling gas again, the aggressor. Kimbauer is a tough chin because I'll tell you, I've seen too many men take a shot like that, it's still standing. Tilling gas again forces Kimbauer to the ropes. Tilling Gas has the, uh, excuse me, Kimbo has the height. You should get that jab moving. Keep uh, Tilling Gas off him. And I don't think Tilling Gas will be able to get, his hook will not be as effective. It's one more jabs, which he's starting to do now. Kimbo working the left and throws the right combination as well. This time it's Tilling Gas landing against the ropes. We are in round two. Tilling Gas. Nice move by Kimbo to slip that punch, but he's going to throw that jab. Every time Tolan Gas stops moving, plants his feet, stick the jab right in his face. Don't let him give him time to get started. Tolan Gas with a shot to the face. Nice left hook. See, every time Tolan Gas stops, he's going to lunge in and throw a punch. Kimbo takes Tolan Gas to the corner. Nice right hand. 
And now Kimbarrow on the offensive. Each fighter has had their flurries. It's all a guess, looks like he's out of gas. Definitely, it's definitely slowed down. Nice right hand by Tillinghast. So tough to grab the momentum out there. It's changing with every flurry. Tillinghast hits oh. Kimbrough with a hard left. A right. And he receives it right himself. Boys are going toe to toe. Tillinghast is tired. It'll be an exciting third round. Round number two is history. Chris Dellis is your thoughts. Chris McDonald, your thoughts, I mean. Well, I'd have to say that uh, it's, too, it's tough to say, right? Tough to say, actually. Uh, Tilling Guess definitely slowed down. Uh, Kimbaro got his jab working there during the middle of the round. Uh, Kimbaro on our right screen. Uh, he looks a little fresher than Tilling Guess in the blue corner. Uh, I'm gonna, if the cornermen are telling these boys, this is the fight right here. You want the championship, you have to go out there and get it. Seems like all the fights have come down to the third round, but this one seems to have a little more action. A few more punches landed than the fights we've seen before. Yeah, I'll tell you, a lot more punches. Uh, but I think uh, conditioning, again, will play a big part in this fight. Tillinghast guess looks like he's out of gas, but he's scoring some strong punches. I don't think they have that much behind him as they did in the first round because he caught Kimbo's nice left hooks again at the end of the round. Once again in the red, John Kimbrough, Brundy's Gym, Central Falls at 156 pounds. In the blue, Jared Tillingas from Manfred's Gym in Providence, Rhode Island, weighing in at 157. The 156 pound novice championship, three rounds, two minutes around. Both fighters come out, mix it up in the, in the early round, and they seem to slow down where Kimbrough finds the range, uses his jab. And Tillingas ends the round very strongly. And that could win the fight for him. If, I, if this round were to go to, as a previous two, I'd say Tillinghast could steal these rounds by ending strong like he has. Tillinghast trying to find the opening. Seems to be taking the outer territory of the ring right now. Uh, Tillinghast doesn't want to do that. He's playing right to uh, Kimbo's strengths. Tillinghast landing to left. Referee Matt Natale. That's illegal. He can't hold a rope and punch. Giving Tillinghast the warning. Give you a little leverage to doing that. <laughs> Quite a bit. A slingshot. Kimbaro trying to find an opening, but pretty good defense by Tillinghast. Keeping his hands up. Kimbaro's the boss of this round, and uh, Tillinghast better do something quickly. Do you think Kimbaro slightly ahead right now? Yes. Of course, the fighters can sense that. Nice right hand by Kimbo. Kimbo in the corner. Tillinghast trying to land, but he gets a shot to the face himself. Kimbo. Heavy action in the corner. Still! Tillinghast has his mouthpiece dropped to the canvas. Stop! Lucha corner! Lucha corner! Lucha corner! Lucha corner! Kimbo will get the better of that, of Point. that exchange. Point! Uh, Point! That could cost the fight right there. Three three you, hate, you hate to see that. Let's just let him fight once the mouthpiece is out. You can hear the trainer saying that to Tillinghast. Don't lose the fight because of this. Tillinghast trying to go on the offensive. is taking more shots than he's giving right now. But he has Kimbaro on the ropes. Kimbaro fighting back strongly. And Kimbaro lands the right. Kimbaro with Tillinghast against the ropes. Kimbaro standing strong. Kimbaro. Lands a right, another right. Right-left combination. Closes out the fight. Good fight. Kimbo took that third round big. Uh, he's going to be the winner. John Kimbaro out of Grundy's Gym, Central Falls, Rhode Island, weighing in at 156. Seems to be the guy that pulled it out at the end. Seemed to have the slight edge all the way, but that final combination, that's got to pull the judges over. Yeah, well, you were mentioning, you know, the fighters can sense it. And uh, Kimbo could sense that Tilling Gas was not in the fight anymore. He was backing up. He wasn't as aggressive as he was earlier. And uh, Kimbo could see his confidence gaining and gaining as the round was going on. 
So now those tense moments that I'm sure, Chris, you have felt many times wondering what the result is going to be. Maybe in this case the fighter is sensing it, but still nervous moments when they're handing up sure. the sheets. You never know what's going to happen, <laughs> unfortunately. You can see right there some hugs as John Kimbaro hoping that he has pulled it off. There you see Kimbaro right there. Tillingas holding up his arm in a hopeful gesture that maybe he has pulled this one out of the bag. We did disagree with one fight so far, Chris McDonald. <laughs> I'll tell you, fight of the night so far, though. Action packed. That's Tillingas there. Tillingas mouthpiece still on the map. I think that's going to be the eventually going to uh, decide this fight, too. Kim Burrow coming on strong and that point taken off. He's in trouble already. I would think that the officials take that into consideration when a mouthpiece continues to fall out. I mean, does that actually hurt the fighter? No, I think what they're doing here is trying to make sure the guy... I think what they're trying to do is make sure that the guy keeps all his teeth in his head. And uh, I just, think it's a silly rule. Uh, you should know how to fight with it out without your mouthpiece. Once again, a little shock in the broadcast booth as the officials apparently feeling that Tillengas carried it early as he takes down John Kimbaro in a shocker. Tillengas, the champion. Let's go ringside with Chris Delacies and the champion, Tillengas. Darren Tillengas, a happy winner. Are you surprised by the decision? Yeah, he was a good fighter. You know, I was expecting a tough fight when I came in. I trained hard for him this week, you know. I expected, I knew he was going to be one of the toughest fighters to face. He's a good fight, I, I, you know. That third round must have felt like it lasted about an hour and a half. Oh, I was dead. You know, I, I trained hard this week, you know. I, I give him a lot of credit because I, you know, I knew who I was going to be fighting. I knew it would be a tough fight. So, you know, I, everything beside that worked out all right for me. Thanks, Darren. Best fight of the night. Back to Paul and Chris at ringside. Okay, Chris Delacis, thank you very much. Chris McDonald, definitely the best fight of the night, but perhaps the biggest shocker as well. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, I think what they were looking at was telling Gas scoring with the harder punches, but Kimbaro, he came on strong at the end, and I thought he took the fight. Looked like uh, Tillingas Gas would have quit if that fight had been 10, 20 more seconds left in that last round. Paul Santos along with Chris Delacis and Chris McDonald. Hope you are enjoying all the fighting tonight here at the Police Athletic League Hall in Fall River. The last fight, Jared Tillingas from Manford's Gym in Providence, Rhode Island, the 156-pound novice champion tonight. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank our sponsor this evening, Quality Beverage. It's them. It's those guys. That's the reason why we're here tonight, bringing you all the action from Fall River. It's the Southern New England Golden Gloves Championship, and we've got more coming up right after this.